And one of the things you, you argue in the book as well is that there's an embodiment to that ease. Can you mm-hmm. say a bit about that? Sure. I mean, the, the idea behind the embodiment of that ease is um, really taken from the work of Pierre Bourdieu. And uh, the idea is that uh, the ease naturalizes socially produced distinctions. So um, there's something rather unnatural about class, um, by which I mean uh, that if you think that you're part of an association because you have these cultural tastes, social ties, and associations with institutions, the implication is, when I say unnatural, that it's a socially produced distinction. Um, It's a distinction that emerges because of the kind of society that you live in. Um, And by a naturally produced distinction, what I mean is that it's something about the core of who you are as a human being. And what embodiment does for me in this argument is, and what the argument of ease does, is suggest that the the naturalness or the ease with which people move throughout a situation, um, it helps explain why they're so successful. So that um, instead of the distinction being produced because of the class position that somebody inherits, It's produced because of almost the genetic composition of the person, the ways in which they embody um, their everyday life. There's nothing more natural, it seems, than our body. And so since it's such a natural thing, it becomes actually much more difficult to question than a kind of class politics. Um, And what I hope to show in the book is just how difficult that embodiment is to produce. So um, how it's a deeply part of a social process One of my favorite examples of this, you know, it comes from Foucault, and the idea there is that um, bodies are heavily disciplined. So for the students, um, it took a long time for the students in the classroom to be trained to sit in a chair for hours on end. Um, And that's a kind of corporeal discipline. It's a bodily disciplining that has a huge effect on the ways in which you carry yourself. Um, If, by contrast, you had to squat all the time, you'd have a different corporeal carriage. And that's an idea, like a kind of coarse idea of the ways in which your physical experiences in the social world have an impact on your your sort of natural body. Um, And I put natural in quotes there for a reason. Um, But that the body itself makes it seem as if there's no social impact. It's instead a kind of naturalized process.